This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website at simhayoga.com for the full schedule of classes as well as my payment information. My Venmo account is Simha Yoga Lab and the four digit ID code if prompted is 8096. The classes are $10 and we're having a difficult time right now. Uh, $5 is fine, we'll definitely work with that. Um, please share with your friends and let's create a strong and vibrant community. Um, I am on live uh, streaming on Facebook and uh, it is then recorded and downloaded as a post on my Facebook account and that is Simha Yoga with Stephen Chang. Also, I have um, a YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. The videos are then uploaded onto YouTube and it is then staying there uh, permanently. So it is 24 access, um, 24 hour access for you at any time. Oh, um, and the YouTube channel is Simply Yoga Lab. So it's 24 hours access so that you don't have to work with my time whenever I'm streaming or I'm recording. You can take it at any time. So um, I hope that is uh, a great convenience for you because that is what I'm hoping to do, to offer you a quality practice as well as a convenience. All right, uh, today's class is open flow. It is level one and level two. For those of you who are tight around the hips or your lower back, please elevate sitting up on a block or a blanket will be quite uh, much more comfortable for you in a cross leg position. Um, Please also, if you have blocks or blankets, help them near you in case you need them. Okay, if you're uh, dealing with any kind of special conditions or um, injuries, right, please make sure that as we go through the practice, if I'm going a little bit out of your range, if you check in and make sure that you don't push uh, too hard and that you end up hurting yourself even more, right? It's really important for us to be aware of our body as we continue to practice. And then, you know, Move with caution if you're working with uh, something in particular, and then if, you, if it feels okay for the posture, then go ahead and take it, right? If it feels kind of wonky, please pull back and modify, but just take some other pose that is similar to where we are and just check in there, okay? Um, and then move on to the next uh, pose where we're moving on to the next thing, okay? Palms face up. And with your lips gently touching, start to regulate your breath by breathing only through your nose. And when you're ready, Ujjayi breath, oceans breathing. Three arms together, inhale. Sapakya, 
Sapahya Pihyendraha Pihyendraha Suchihi Suchihi Starting to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side, elongate through the left side of the neck. And then draw the chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest, big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center, a few more rounds at your own pace. Take the chin back to center and pause, and then the opposite direction. Take it back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and into your spine. Coming off your blocks and extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side of you and turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. All the rotations, circling the ankles. Take it back to center, switch them around. And then back to center again. Cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Then take the arms high, extend, twist to the right on the exhale. Back to center, arms up. Exhale, other side. Center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back to center again, legs forward, forward fold. And take it back up, swing the legs back behind you. Down dog and start to pedal out the legs. Walking it out side to side just to bring some movement, loosen up the hips and the lower back some more. All right, let's take it back to stillness to your down dog. Hands are separated about shoulder width. Either your index fingers or your middle fingers point straight forward and press strongly into your fingertips, finger knuckles, and the pads of the hands, and be light on your wrists. Right, so share the weight of this pressure um, um, throughout the fingertips, right? And the heels are reaching down, but your heels are not actually touching down, so there's always something to reach for. If your hamstrings or your low back are really tight, you can always bend your knees and shift the weight back this way, and that works nicely as well. Inhale, take it forward into your plank. On the exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Hands alongside the ribcage, elbows drawn back, gazes to the floor. On the inhale, lift up, baby cobra, so your belly and your lower ribs are still touching down. On the exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Maybe a fullest extension, and elbows can always stay bent. Exhale, take it all the way down to the floor. Draw the seat back to down dog. Sorry, to child's pose and stretch your lower back. Extend the arms forward, rest your forehead. Maybe you want to shift side to side, loosen up the shoulders a little bit. All right, take it back to down dog. Lift back up, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Three, let the dog. Foot is flexed, heels reaching straight up. Back. Exhale, draw the knee in toward the nose, round the spine, shift your shoulders, open your wrists, and high up on your left tiptoes. Inhale, raise your right leg back up, open up the hips, bend the right knee, so you're stacking the hips right side over your left, 
Right knee switching upwards toward the sky, left heel down toward the floor. Raise your right leg up, square off your hips, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Take the back heel to ground down to the floor at an angle, full extension of the back leg for support. Right knee off the right heel, toes point straight forward, arms up high. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, reach the arms up. On the exhale, palms face down, arms alongside to reach down. Flip the palms, inhale, lengthen the front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms sideways, and the palms facing down to reach down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down, keep the arms alongside, lean the torso forward at the diagonal. Keep grounding through the back here for support, and think about the length of the spine. So try not to round the upper back, but instead lift, crown of the head slightly forward. Maybe even think about drawing the shoulders back slightly, so you're activating the shoulder blades, engaging the lower back and your core to sustain. Sweep the hands forward up into warrior one, open it up, warrior two. In a reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, right hand inside the foot, stack the shoulders, raise your left arm up and extend. You can always modify right elbow to top of the leg if that is easier for you. Take it back up, in a reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back plank. Let's lower all the way back down. Hands alongside the rib cage. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. So your belly and your lower ribs are still touching down. Exhale, lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little higher. So the belly and the ribs come away from the floor. Lower arms all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Maybe for this extension, elbows can always stay bent. Lower all the way down. Child's pose. Draw the seat toward the heels. Fold forward. Extend the arms. And again, if you want to shimmy side to side. All right, come back to stillness into your down dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Three legged dog. Foot is flexed. Heel is reaching up and back. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose, round the spine, shoulders over where your wrists, high up on your right tip toes. Kick it back up, open up the hips, bend the left knee, stacking on your hips, left knee is reaching up, right heel is reaching down. Raise the left leg back up, square off your hips, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Back heel grounding down, left knee over the left heel, extending up, uh, toes forward, arms up high. Inhale, leg, your front leg reach up, flip the palms, arms sideways, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, leg, your front leg reach up, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bend the front knee, arms alongside. Stay there with the arms, lean the torso forward to a diagonal, ground through the back heel down, draw the shoulders back, activating the upper back and broadening your shoulders and staying here for another breath. Sweep the hands, far it up for warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, exhale, side angle. Left hand to the inside of the foot or elbow to the knee to modify, and right arm reaching up. Holding it here. Inhale, take it back up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. In our one breath, exhale, this time push up, chaturanga. Inhale, forward and up into your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three leg down. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round the spine. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. This time, right knee to the outside of the right arm to touch. Kick it back up, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace your fingers and press your palms forward. Lengthen your front leg, reach up, bend the front knee, press forward and twist. Square back to center, lengthen your front leg, reach up, bend the front knee, reach forward and twist. One more time, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward, twist. Stay twisting here for three, two, one. Square back to center, releasing the hands. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen your right leg, triangle pose. To 
get the left hip back, right hand forward. The right hand can go to top the shin if your hamstrings are tighter, or right hand directly to the floor if you're able to. Left arm reaching up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse triangle, right arm up and back. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up, three legged dog. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee to the outside, left arm to touch. Kick the back up, step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Take the hands together in prayer. Interlace with the other thumb on top. Interlace, press forward. Lengthen the front leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist. Two more times. Press forward, lengthen, reach up. Bend the front knee, press forward and twist. Lengthen, reach up. Bend forward and twist. Stay here. Three, two, one. Release, square back to center, warrior two. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle pose. Tip the right hand back, the left hand forward. And again, modifying the left hand to the shin. You can, of course, take it a little higher or a little bit lower on the shin, or left hand directly to the floor, right arm reaching up, triangle pose. Inhale, take it all the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend in front knee, hands to the floor. Left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, charanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up. Right knee in towards the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm in touch. Kick the back up. Knee comes into twist. Take the back up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the right arm back behind you. Bend your left elbow. Inhale here. Exhale. Left elbow to touch your right knee. Inhale. Take it back up. Left elbow to touch your right knee. Inhale. Take it back up. Let's do five. Left elbow, right knee. Take it up. Left elbow, right knee. Take it up, last one. Left elbow, right knee, and stay there. Twist a little bit deeper. Rotating through the spine, right shoulder, drawing back in space. Inhale, square back to center. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, extend it, side angle. Left palm to face down and reach forward. Let's take big circles with the left arm and and also coordinate that with the lengthening and the bending of the front knee. Alright? Length and front leg. Reach your left arm up and back. Bend the front knee, circle it forward. Lengthen, reach up and back. Bend and circle your left arm forward. Lengthen, reach up and back. Bend and circle forward into a half bind. Left hand behind you and stop. Lean into the inner right leg. If you want to bind fully, right arm underneath your right leg, circle behind you, lift up, lean back, and stack. Release, keep the half bind, come up, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg, half bound, and triangle. Stacking. Extended triangle, left arm up and overhead. Then this time, left arm reaching out to left side and alongside the hips. Out to left side and overhead. Out to left, behind you. Out to left and overhead. Out to left, behind you. Out to left, Out to left overhead. Circle it all the way back up, reverse triangle. And then bend in front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, up breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up. Left knee in toward the nose. 
Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee to outside the left arm and touch. Kick it back up, knee comes into twist, touching your right arm. Kick it back up. Step the left forward, warrior one. Back heel down, arms up high. Wrap the left arm back behind you, retract your left shoulder back. Bend your right elbow. Right elbow to touch outside the left knee. Inhale, take it back up five times. Right elbow to left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up two more times. Right elbow, left knee. Take it back up. Right elbow, left knee. Stay there and twist deeper. Inhale, take it all the way back up and around, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, extend its side angle. Right palm facing down and reach forward. Coordinating big circles to the right arm with lengthening and bending of the left knee, all right? Inhale, lengthen left leg, reach up and back. Bend the front knee, circle it forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, down and forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, down and forward into your half climb. Right arm up and behind you and stack the shoulders. Stay here or take the full bind. Left arm underneath the left leg, circling behind you. Catch the other hand. Lift up, lean back and stack a little bit deeper. Release your binds, but keep the half bind. Reach your left hand, forward and up into your reverse warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, half bound, triangle. Keep the triangle, raise your right arm up and to the front for extended triangle. And then arcing your right hand over to the right, and then alongside the hips and behind you. Out to right and overhead, two more times. Out to right and behind you. Out to right and overhead. Out to right, behind you. Out to right, overhead. Come all the way back up. Reverse triangle. Then bending front knee, hands to the floor. Left foot, stepping back, plank. In our one breath, exhale, chaturanga. In our dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, stand, forward bend. Take your feet together, knees together. Walk your hands slightly forward, maybe even to your fingertips. Shift forward to your tiptoes and lift the seat up as high as you can. Right? If you're less flexible, you might need to bend your knees a little bit, right? That's okay. As long as your hands are touching down and your arms are fully extended, you can always bend your knees to accommodate for flexibility. Two more breaths. You can let the head release. And the crown of the head reaching toward the floor, looking toward your shins or your knees. All right, take the knees to the floor again. Stay on your fingertips, stay on your toe tips. But then start to bend the knees and let the seat draw down toward the heels. Shift the weight back and see if you can balance on just your toes and lift your arms. Fingertips are reaching forward, arms are about parallel to the floor. Let's challenge your balance here. Palms face each other. On the inhale, open up the arms out like wings as far back as you can. Exhale, draw the arms in toward each other and touch your palms if you can. Inhale, open as wide as you can, maybe even slightly back. Exhale, draw the arm, hands toward each other. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Keep your palms uh, together in a prayer. Raise the arms up high. Make the arms alongside the ears. If not, slightly forward is fine. And then through the lengthening of the legs, come all the way up into the tiptoes. Keep reaching. And then press your heels down, lean them back for back bend. Come forward, releasing your hands, bend your knees. Step the right foot back, low lunge. Raise the arms up high, high lunge. 
Inhale, length in front of the leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, length and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, reach up, keeping the arms up. Bend the front knee, coming back into your high lunge. Then just the action to the right knee, the leg behind you. Bend your right knee, almost all the way down. Lengthen it back up three times. Bend your right knee, almost all the way down. Lengthen it back up. Bend your right knee, almost all the way down. Stay there. Reach your arms forward, parallel to the floor. Round your upper back, chin toward the chest, and then you're going to feel like you're tucking the tailbone down. And hold. Three, two, one. Lengthen it all back out. Lengthen the front leg as well, and then maybe leaning it back slightly for a back bend. Come back into high lunge. Hands to the floor. Stepping your left foot back swing. In our breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Reach your fingertips back, reach your toes back. Lift up, Shalabhasana, locust pose. Crown of the head is reaching forward, fingertips and toes are reaching back. You're lifting your feet and your thighs, you're lifting the upper back. Maybe even feel a sense of broadening of the front of the chest by drawing the shoulder blades toward each other, engaging the upper back even more. Release, and all the way down, child's pose. Sitting on your shins, rise up, side bend, right hand down to the floor, left arm up and overhead. Bend your left elbow, reach through your left elbow, and go even deeper. Then start to let the left, uh, left elbow draw forward toward the right knee, and twist. Maybe even, uh, you can even support the head with your left hand, and press your right hand down to twist even deeper. Release that action, de-rotate, come back through the side bend, come all the way up, left hand down, right arm overhead, side bend, reach your right fingertips. Then bend your right elbow, reach it through your right elbow. Then start to descend by drawing your right elbow toward the left knee. Use your left hand for some resistance and twist. Maybe even supporting your right, uh, the right hand to the head and twist deeper. Start to release, uh, de rotate. Take it back to side bend, come all the way up, and then wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, draw the shoulders back, lift up, gaze up. So make a mental note which thumb is on top. So without thinking, whenever you're interlacing your hands, that's your, not, that's your dominant side. Come back to neutral. Extend the arms forward, round the spine. Take it back again, wrap with the other thumb on top, the non-dominant side, broad the shoulders, gaze up, back bending. Release, draw forward, round the spine, walk your hands back forward, down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge, left foot forward, standing for a bend. Feet together, knees together. Hands are on the floor, you're on your fingertips. Shift forward, come high up on your tiptoes. Do the best you can to lengthen out the arms, lengthen out the legs, reach your tail up toward the sky. Right, if you are stable now, you can release the crown of the head toward the floor, point the crown of the head down. You're looking toward your knees or your shins. If you're bending the knees because you don't have as much flexibility in the hamstrings, that is fine. But stay on your fingertips with the full extension of your arms. Alright, take the knees to the floor. Stay high on your fingertips and your toe tips. 
start to bend your knees and take the seat toward the heels. Then shift back a little bit, raise your arms to parallel the floor, and balance in here. All right, this time we'll take the hands together in prayer, interlace, press forward, raise the arms up, press the arms forward, raise the arms up, press the palms forward one more time, reach the arms up, press the palms forward, release now. Make note again, which is uh, the thumb on top, and then switch interlacing your hands, non-dominant side, press forward again, reach up. Press forward, reach up. Press forward, reach up. Stay reaching up, stay on your tiptoes as you rise up. Stay there, as high up as you can. Then lower the heels down, take that to a back bend. Come forward, release your hands, dive forward, fingertips to the floor, bend the knees and step the left to back, low lunge, and then raise the arms up high, high lunge. Inhale, leg in front of leg, reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale up. Keep the arms up, bend the front knee. This time, switching legs. Left knee almost touching down. Length and back up. Left knee almost touching down. Length and back up. Left knee almost touching down. Stay there. Reach the arms forward. Tuck the tail down. Scoop the navel in. Then round the upper back. Chin toward the chest. Hold that for three. Two. One. Length and back up. Lift the left toes. Length and right leg. And maybe take back and just let back bend. And then come back to center, bend the front knee, hands to the floor, stepping your right foot back, plank, lower all the way down to the belly. This time, arms reach forward, toes reach back, lift up like Superman. Keep reaching your fingertips and crown of the head forward and toes reach back. Lift up as high as you can on both ends. And start to release again, child's pose. Hands alongside the ribcage, seat toward the heels, and fold. Take the back up, standing on your shins. All right, this time, left hand behind you. Right hand to the outer left leg, lengthen on the inhale, exhale, twist. Now start to lean forward, and your hands start to come toward the floor. Keep sliding out to side for support. Keep leaning forward. Go as far as you can as you maintain your twist. Reverse that action, make your way back up, raise your right arm up, raise your left arm up, right hand behind you, retract your right shoulder back, left hand to outer right leg, and twist. And as you start to lean the torso forward, the left hand touches down, keep your left hand supporting as you keep bowing forward and sliding out, and then twist. Start to reverse that action. Make your way back up. Raise your left arm up. Raise your right arm up. Uh, wrap the hands back behind you again. Interlace. Lift up, gaze up. Come back to neutral. Extend the arms forward, round the spine. Wrap the hands back again. Take the other thumb on top. Roll your shoulders. Lift up, gaze up. Release, round forward again. Walk your hands forward, down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, open up the hips, bend the right knee, and flip the dog.
Flip it back up again, right leg up, right leg over to left side, fallen triangle. Take the left hand down, take the seat down, fallen warrior. So legs are roughly about 90 degrees. You're on the outside of the right foot and the inside of the left. Walk your right hand a little bit further, lower your right forearm down. So the measurement is shoulder over your elbow, vertical line, horizontal line with the forearm. So 90 degrees with your right arm. So the important thing is try not to collapse in the right shoulder. You want to resist against the floor and lift. Keep that lifted. Raise your left arm up and overhead. Left side stretch. Maintain this lift of the right side, maintain the extension of the left arm, and start to let the left shoulder square toward the floor facing down. Then let the left fingertips touch down. So now you're tractioning your left fingertips to the floor, keep lifting on the right side. Walk your left hand further forward, and that will give you a deeper stretch through your left arm, left shoulder, into the shoulder blade, through the twist. Alright, so the mid-back is your thoracic spine and um, your mid back in this twist is your thoracic twist. All right, and if you have a little more in you, reach your left hand to even further forward, let the left shoulder descend some more, deepening the twist, but keep the right arm resisting. Legs stay active and engaged, so you're nice and supported. One more breath. Walk your left hand in. Let's go even deeper. Lift the right elbow. Thread the left arm underneath your right, so threading the needle. Left arm underneath your right, support with your left hand. As you bend your right elbow, let the left shoulder start to descend. Maybe you can get so deep that the left shoulder, left cheek even touches down. Alright, let's start to release, press into your right hand, lift back up, walk your hands back in to roughly where your plank would be, tuck the left toes under, and flip it back into a three-legged dog, right leg up, step the right foot forward, press the glute, left knee comes down, right hand to the top of the shin, uh, to the top of the thighs, left hand to support. Alright, and lunging forward, get into the stretch of the left quads, going into the left hip. As you lunge forward, try to keep the left right heel down as well. Then press your hands into your thighs and lean the upper torso, including your belly, away from the thigh. Coming into your back bend, gently looking up. Once you set that and you're ready, Venus Mudra, arms up and back. You may remain here for the full duration of time, or you can start to take your options. Perhaps wrapping the hands back behind you for more shoulder opener. If you want a side bend, right arm to right leg, left arm overhead, the right hand can come down as well. And then side in the other direction, left hand down, right arm up. You can also wrap both hands behind you. Right? You can take your mermaids, left hand to left foot, to the outside of the foot, and right arm up and back. You can revolve that mermaid one by switching hands, right hand to left foot, Reaching left arm up and looking behind you. That's your mermaid one with the revolve position. Mermaid two, hands to the inside of the foot, slip that foot to the elbow crease. Right arm can reach up, right hand can bind to your left. You have many options here. Let's take two more breaths. Maybe for those of you who want a deeper left quad stretch, point the left toes, lift the left knee, and lean forward. So you're suspended, but you're getting a very lengthy line through the front of the left leg. Alright, let's everyone start to release. Hands back to the floor to either side of the right foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and lengthen over the right leg for your pyramid. Alright, so using the blocks, um, if you can, or some sort of elevation. If you don't have any kind of props to help you, elongate the arms, right? 
by using the props, you're elongating the arms, and that's helpful to get into the front leg. Now, if you're not able to do that, slight bending of the knee is fine, right? But make sure you're actively looking to lengthen the best you can. Two more breaths. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, half moon. Right hand forward, about a foot, look off to right side. For those of you who are using blocks, you can use your hand to a block. Tip forward, keep the gaze looking down to check the balance. Stack the left side over your right, left arm reaching up. And once you're nice and balanced, feel free to look upwards toward the sky. Those of you binding, left hand to left foot, chapasana, or both hands to your left foot for the full position. And of course, if you want to switch this up, you can reach your left arm forward, parallel to the floor. Right hand still binding. All right, let's start to break. Step back, warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back plank. In a one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Open up the hips, bend the left knee, and flip the dog. Flip back around, left leg up. Fall in triangle, left leg over to the right side. Fall in warrior, take the seat down. Legs are 90 degrees. Um, maybe this time I'll give you a front view. Legs are roughly 90 degrees, right? You have the outside of the left foot, inside of the right. Walk your left hand from the forward, lower your left arm down. So check for your 90 degrees. Left shoulder over your elbow, elbow lined up with the wrist. Now try it again, not to collapse on your left side, but instead press into your left arm and lift. Stay lifted, reach your right arm overhead for the right side extension. Keep that side extension, keep the left on the left arm. Start to square off your shoulders and right hand touching down. You're on your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crawl the right fingertips further forward, getting stretchier on the right side, right shoulder, right shoulder blade. You're going into your middle uh, spinal twist, your thoracic twist. If you have a little more, you can crawl the right fingertips even further, let the right shoulder draw down a little bit, and keep your left arm lifted, left shoulder lifted, left side lifted. All right, let's go deeper. Right hand comes in to help you lift. Lift the left elbow as well. Right arm threading the needle. Right arm underneath the left. Then as you reach your right hand to your left side, bend your left elbow. That will now allow you to maybe go deeper in your twist, right? You can even angle your torso a little off to the right to maybe eventually take your cheek and your shoulder toward the floor. Press into your right hand. Lift back up. Walk your hands back in. Tuck the back toes. Lift the left leg up. Three legged dog. Step the left foot forward. Right knee comes down. Crescent moon. Left hand to support. Right hand to support. Lunge the hips forward. Keep the left heel down. Then as you press your hands to your thighs, lean the upper torso and the belly away from the thighs. Beginning to take shape with your back bend, gently looking up. Once you set, Venus Mudra, arms up and back.
And for those of you taking your variations, again, you can wrap the hands back behind you. Now make sure you take the non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Then, if you're taking side bends, it can be left arm and left leg, right arm overhead. The left hand can come down as well if you have that extension. Also going to the other side. Right? So then some of you maybe even took both hands behind you for the heart opener. Finally, those of you taking mermaids. Right hand to right foot, outside the foot, left arm up, this is mermaid one. You can revolve the mermaid one, left hand to the inside of the right foot, looking behind you, right arm up. You can take mermaid two, hands to the inside of the foot, right hand, and then slipping the right foot to your right elbow crease, left arm forward and up, and then you're taking the bind, take the bind. Now you have a few more breaths here. And then one last option I gave some of you is to point the right toes, lift the right knee off the floor. With your hands supporting, start to line your hips forwards and downwards, right? To get a deeper extension through the front of the right leg. All right, starting to break. Tuck the back toes under, hands to either side of the left foot for support. And then lengthen out the front leg. Now if your feet are too wide, right, the stance is too wide, walk it in a little bit. You always want to stay stable in every pose the best you can. Right, so in order for you to sufficiently hold the poses, you have to be stable, right? So make sure you make the adjustments if you need them. All right, great. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel. Circle it up. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. Left hand forward about a foot, a little off to left side. If you're using left hand to a block, go ahead and take it. Right, I like to keep the knees looking down. Just stack the hips and shoulders, right arm up. So once you have the full balance here, feeling pretty steady, you can always look upwards. Now, if you're choosing to take variations like the binds, I recommend to look down toward the floor again to help you to balance. Then, grabbing the outside of the right foot with your right hand, that's the half variation of Vajrasana. The full variation is with both hands to your right foot. Right? And then you want to take another option, right arm, to reach forward to front of the room, parallel to the floor. The left hand stays binding to the right foot. Start to release, step back, warrior two, reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot, step back, plank, inhale up breath, exhale, chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down, pigeon, left leg up, left knee in toward the nose, line that shin to the floor, so I switch legs, all right, so this time we're leading with the left leg. All right, square off your hips, elongate through the spine, make sure your left thigh angles out to the left side, 30 to 45 degrees. Once you're set with the torso and the hips, then you're ready to make it way forward. You can lower your forearms, you can make pillows with the hands. So I invite you to either stay here in your pigeon, taking a few breaths, or just staying here for the full duration of time. All right, so after you have a few breaths, for those of you who like additional variations, feel free to work through anything you want. You can go back to those mermaid poses that we did in Crescent Moon. You can invert if you'd like. You can take any kind of arm balances that you feel appropriate for your practice today. So, uh, maybe for me, I'll just take a leg cradle. I'm gonna sit up. Swing the right leg forward, square off the hips. Maybe starting with just the support of the heel, flexing the foot, sitting up tall, raise your, left, uh, raise your heel. Right, so now I'm ready to go a little bit deeper by drawing the right knee back and right heel back. So going deep into the hip joint on the right side. Then cross it over, 
Shins are parallel to the floor, maybe as high up as my chest. Make sure you flex your right foot and wrap the arms underneath. This is one variation of the leg cradle. The other leg cradle is wrapping the arms around the shin.
Start to take it back in. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Grab the outer feet. One chair is secure positioning. Lift the head and the upper back. Start to think about drawing your third eye toward the toes and round forward. Release. Step the feet to the floor. Walk your feet about that swift distance. Drop the knees over to the right side. So your feet are separated, knees are separated. And then dropping your knees. So your, your legs will not be lined up. Then, once you have the legs over to the right side, like windshield wipers, take the right ankle to the outside of the left knee. So you're pressing ankle to knee. Pressing down, you're getting a nice um, additional pressure to the outer left leg, outer left hip. Step the right foot back down, lift the knees back up, make sure your knees are still separated and the feet are separated, and drop the knees over to the left side. Once you have your windshield wiper to your left, left ankle on top of the right knee, make sure you flex your left foot, and then pressing down to get a little bit more stretch to the outer right leg, outer right hip. Release your left foot back down. Take the knees back up. Then walk your feet in toward each other. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Goddess pose. Nice. So this is a nice hip opener, inner thigh stretch. Just let the knees be heavy. Then let the arms sit alongside the hips, palms face up. We'll take another three breaths and then we'll slide the legs out for Shavasana. Alrighty, beginning to slide the legs out, separate your feet, keep your toes turning outwardly, let the floor support, and release fully, Shavasana, final relaxation, let it all go. Begin to draw the breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. 
And when you're ready, roll over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross leg position. Fingers come back to the Mudra. Ground evenly through your seat. Let the shoulders be broad, breath deep, and the neck free. Inhale from.